shit. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be looking at the Prophecy Verse weapon, the SMG, the Conqueror 2. It's a very, very good weapon, very underrated weapon in my opinion. What's so good about it? Well, basically it's a 900 RPM SMG with Kill Clip, the only one of its type. So it's a unique weapon. There is no other weapon in the same archetype that has Kill Clip basically, which is what makes it so special. I was running Hammer Forge Rifling and Tactical Mag with mine. Obviously, Tactical Mag is a very balanced perk. Gives you reload, gives you stability, gives you a bit of range. And then Kill Clip is the perk that makes the gun really stand out. Now, obviously, everyone knows the other Kill Clip SMG. That would be the Antiope. You, you know, you probably don't see that weapon not being used in a game of Crucible ever. Like, if you load up a game of Crucible, look at the other players and, you know, someone will have this on, guaranteed. It's the try-hard weapon of choice. Antiope, in particular, is really really strong because it has broken range. The range that the Antioch works at is obviously not what an SMG is supposed to be. Concrete is different. It actually works in SMG range, which is i.e. very close up. If you try to use this weapon at any kind of extended range, it will not do very well. But if you use it in its intended range, it absolutely shreds. I was using it with the Karnstein armlets and Devour on a Warlock, and obviously what I was doing was chaining Kill Clip, Devour, and getting melee kills to get Vampire's Caress. And it basically leads to really nice kill streaks and, you know, kill chains, multiple kills in a row, getting your health back and, uh, you know, using mobility and aggression to have a really fun match. I think I dropped 51 eliminations in this game. And I was also using the Jack Queen King and the Perfect Paradox, which are two other Prophecy Verse weapons. I'm actually thinking of doing a video focusing on the best Prophecy Verse loadout because I think a lot of people came back to the game for the Warmind DLC or you like me, you just never did them back when Curse of Osiris came out. And if you haven't gotten around to doing them, I know the grind is pretty boring, I'm not gonna lie, but I was able to get the grind done for these weapons whilst doing other things like, you know, faction rallies and stuff like that. So I wasn't actually, you know, focusing on just grinding for these, I just happened to get it done, you know, whilst doing other things. And I think it's well worth your time because there's some very, very good legendary weapons in there. Some of the best in the game, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, I would recommend it, guys. Obviously, I'm gonna stop talking now and let the rest of the game play out. It's a 51 Elim game and, uh, you know, very aggressive. I'm not, you know, staying in the back and playing my life. I'm not using the meta weapons. You know, I'm putting on a show for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. If you do enjoy it, leave a like, leave a comment, share the video, do anything you can to help this channel grow. Check out the description. There's also links in there for you to check out. And yeah, that's it from me, guys. I hope you enjoy it and I hope to see you in tomorrow's video. Peace. With 10 warlocks like you, I can turn ideas into weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing!
entire team that fights together stays together. Enemy, what a real fight. Change the lead. Wait to see what you do with that. The moments of clarity are weapons, Warlock. Death in his beady eyes, and you spat in them. You fiend. 